Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll create a new application that handles phone messages. The goal here is to improve and automate the handling of phone messages. I'm sure you recognize the scenario here, a reception that handles the main switchboard and then hands out post-it notes. But of course, we want to keep this information in SharePoint. So I'm going to create a new app or a custom list that handles these incoming messages and it should store the phone number of the person who called, the name of the caller, and who, who they called, and if the call has been returned or not. And then we're finally going to do some views too. Today's phone called, unreturned, group per person call, etc. So I'm going to jump into my SharePoint 2013 site here, and go into Site Contents, and add an app for that. And that's going to be a custom list. Call that phone Messages. And here are the phone messages now. I'm going to go into the list settings for that list. And then I'm going to make sure that it's in the navigation always. Display this list on the quick launch, yes. And then I'm going to add some columns. So I'm going to add a who called column and a phone number one. Phone number that can also be a single line of text and then I'm going to create a column for employee that is the person being called within the organization that we're building this for and that's going to be a person or group field and then finally we're going to add a new column here for if the call has been returned or not and that's going to default to no I think that's about does it. Let's see now if we can start adding some phone messages. I'll click on this phone messages to the left here and then I'm going to click on new item and uh, bird called. You might notice that this uh, title is mandatory but we might actually not need that so uh, let's go in and remove that later. But um, who called? That was Bert of course. And the phone number something like that and he called me Peter Kalmström. And the call hasn't been returned, of course, so we'll just do save on that. And there you see we can now store the information. That's rather good. I'm going to remove this title since we don't need it. So I'm going to go into the list settings on that again. And as you'll notice here, I can actually, when I go into title, I can make it uh, not mandatory. But that's actually not the only thing I want to do. I want to hide this field altogether. But as you see, there's no delete button here. So in order to hide that, I'm going to go in, in under advanced settings, under advanced settings and allow management of content types. And once I've done that, this content ty um, type session here, and if I go into item there, I can actually change the title in here. And now it's optional, but I can actually make it hidden there. So that makes it, of course, easier to fill in the phone message, the one extra field that I don't have to fill in every time. And now, of course, I need to change the view here because the title, since I'm not going to fill that out anymore, that's not going to be visible there. So I'm going to go into the list view here and modify the current view to remove the title. Okay, great. So now I'm just going to add another one there. And there you see now the title is missing. So who called? Uh, Adam. And the phone number, let's put something like that. And the employee being called is Martin. Martin Bella. That's f Here we have two different people being called and two people who call them. All right, so now we have an app that uh, handles these incoming phone messages. That's fine. So the first one is completed. Now we're going to create uh, some views. Today's phone calls unreturned and grouped per person called. So now I'm going to go ahead and into the list tab here and create a new view. And there we go, create view. That's going to be a standard view. Today's phone calls. And the thing I want to put in here is that it's only going to show the ones where the created is today is equal to. And then we have this field today, which is very, very useful just as it says over there. And then I'm going to go OK. 
So now I have two different views on this. And I can switch uh, through them by uh, going in here, all items, or today's phone calls. And of course, that now that's going to be the same one. Uh, the next view that I was going to create is unreturned. So that's going to show the only the ones that have not been called back. So I'm going to create a new view again, unreturned. And I'm going to do a filter here on the one where we have call returned is not equal to yes. Now if I go in and edit this one here, where I just edit the list, say that the call has been returned, yes. And now I switch over to the unreturned view here. See that's the only one. I have all these views here. Today's phone calls, all items, but or just the unreturned. Now this unreturned view is rather good because then I can actually go in and put that on the home page. Let's see, I don't want this uh, get started thing here. I'll remove that. And then I'm just going to go edit the page. And then I can add a web part down here. Let's add it up there actually, a bit before there. There we go. Press the left key to get my cursor in there. Insert, and then I'm going to add a web part. And that's going to be the phone messages. Add that. And here now it's showing all of them, of course. But if I go in and edit this web part now, I can select to use that unreturned view. And then I'm going to also ch change the appearance of this so that it's uh, showing none as the Chrome type. And I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to save the page. So there I have the list of phone messages there on the, the front page. I also want to create the grouped per person called, so I'm going to create that view too. Back, go back into the phone messages and create a view, grouped view there. Create a view, group by person called. And here we have group by down here, a bit further down, and I'm going to group that by the employee. I'm going to default to collapse, that's fine, and OK. Group by person called, and then I can expand these things. Quite beautiful. That concludes the demo, and we have completed all the tasks. Thank you for watching this demonstration.